From October Gallery in Philadelphia, this is ATN Art TV Network. Hello, my name is David Lawrence, and I'm at the October Gallery. I want to give you a brief description of myself and a biographical background of all the things I did as an artist over the years. I attended the High School of Art and Design where I was influenced by my uncle who gave me my skills and how allowed me to get a portfolio together in order for me to get into that school. That was a great experience in my life and it helped me have confidence to be, that I could become an artist over the years. From there, I went to Long Island University and studied marketing, which was a definite thing that I needed as far as my business skills that I needed to be an artist in this world, as well as professional art. And then I went to the Art Students League, where artists like Romeo Bearden, Jacob Lawrence, Giorgio O'Keefe, and Norman Rockwell attended. And then I came to Philadelphia in 1988. From there, I opened up my first art gallery again with my uncle, who helped me out, even opening up a business. From there, we supported other artists, she gave shows for other artists, and then I also honed my own skills working with other artists. One of the first media groups that I worked with as, as a black art group is Mixed Media, which is one of the first black art groups of uh, artists in Philadelphia in the United States. Uh, from there, I went to study my own styles. I started practicing and working with my mentor, Leroy Johnson, who gave me mixed media styles. From there, I started mixing mediums because I, I always believed that it's not necessary that you only work with one medium, whether it be oils, acrylics, airbrush, or watercolors. I felt you could mix. And then today, we have mixed media as a way of life. 3D is a way of life. And so I was sort of like ahead of my time in that way. My style that I'm presently well recognized as is pyramidism. And that style, I use geometrical shapes, grids, geometry and trigonometry as well as indigenous patterns and symbols of the indigenous cultures and I also use symbology. This is very help. I'm well known for that and with that style I'm able to use the different mediums, collage, airbrush and different mediums that help me um, with my subject matter. From there I started using my own style which is metamorphosis and this style I'm more studying the cosmos as well as the constellations, galaxies that the Hubble bubble that NASA uses to study these, these, these different constellations uses to study them. I was able to different, do a lot of research and from there I came up with my style. Now this style has helped me as an artist get in tune with myself spiritually with the cosmos and let, allow the viewer to see that we are a part of a greater plan that God has created for us. Artists, being an artist has helped me to live out my purpose fulfill my destiny, and live out my spiritual dreams and my passions. I wake up every day loving being an artist. It has helped me so many ways be known around the country as well as work with different people, meet a lot of different people, and study a lot of different styles and, and also travel a lot being an artist. So I recommend as to anyone out there, study something that you have a passion for because that is what you'll be great at. That's what you will be fulfilled at. That's what you would excel at. And art has allowed me to do that. So I have um, given some shows this year, and I'm going to be working at doing a show at the Harlem Festival in New York, as well as I had a great time doing the October Gallery show this year, and that I met a lot of great people and worked with a lot of great artists as well. Uh, some of the things that I'm future, going to be doing in the future is to do more teaching, because I love teaching and giving back to the community. I also like doing lectures. About, so I could teach the public how to appreciate art and how art is important in our lives. We as people, African American community, need to support more art in the future because art is something that can appreciate in value as well as bring joy to your life and enrich your life. So these are the things that I do as an artist. I study art all the time. I practice. I try to hone my skills. I try to increase my skills. And these are the things that give me fulfillment. I want to continue to do the best I can as an artist. And I've lived out my full, one of my dreams was to be in a museum. And I did that two years ago at the Afro-American Museum of Art in Philadelphia. So 
the things that I'm going to be doing is continue to you know do websites, and that's one of the things I want to study as well is creating web my own website. So I'm going to school for that this year as well. Um, I'm on two sites right now. I'm on Black Art in America. You can see me there, and you can also see me on the OctoberGallery.com website as well. So uh, the things that I want to do is just keep on being out there for the public. Keep on giving out my best art. And you can see me on OctoberGalleryTV.com in the near future. Thank you.